If your LG dryer is making noise, it's probably because one or more of these components have failed. These wheels are a common failure point for this dryer, as is the tensioner pulley. It's always a good idea to replace the belt while you're there. I'm gonna show you how to replace all of this so you can do one repair and reset the clock completely. These replacement parts are better than the original equipment. They're installed with ball bearings, so you'll never have to replace these ever again. Let's get started. To fix this dryer, you're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver or drill, a 10 millimeter socket, a 14 millimeter socket, and a pair of pliers. The first step, two screws you're gonna need to remove from the back of the dryer is this Phillips screw and this Phillips screw. With your hands, you wanna give a nice push and you should be able to slide the lid back a few inches and then just lift it out of the way. Once it's open, take this harness and disconnect it from the PCB board. Next, you wanna remove this back panel screw and then this screw right here. You should at this point be able to remove the face panel. There might be some clips at the top, so you wanna gently pull and kind of just pry it out of place. Guide the wire out and move it to the side. Next, we're gonna remove these front cover screws. Now, what I like to do is I like to remove all of them except for one, and this one will just loosen it just about one turn. Open the door and remove these two bottom screws. Close the dryer door and with your knee, hold the door panel so that it doesn't fall out and remove the last screw. Tilt the panel back and unplug the door switch. Lean the panel back a little bit more and you should be able to just lift it and move it out of the way. Next, we're gonna remove these two top Phillips screws so we can remove this metal panel. Find this temperature sensor harness, push on the tab and unplug it. Remove this lint filter and undo the screws holding the duct blower assembly. You may have to tip the dryer back a little bit to get this all the way out. With a pair of pliers, squeeze this tab and you should be able to unplug this door switch harness from the front bulkhead. Next, we're gonna remove these four screws and then we should be able to remove this entire front bulkhead. You should be able to give it a gentle lift and remove it from its notches. With your left hand, go on the left side of the drum and what you wanna do is you wanna pull on the tensioner pulley and with your right hand, undo the belt from the motor pulley and then release the tension on the tensioner. To remove the tub, just grab the belt, lift a little bit and pull it straight out. To gain access to the nut for the back wheels, we have to remove a variety of screws holding the entire back cover in. We're gonna unscrew these two screws on the heating element just to give us a little extra wiggle room. Once you have the heating element removed, you should be able to simply just lift this bulkhead out and remove it from the dryer. This bolt is 14 millimeter and all you have to do is loosen that. You may need to use a pair of channel locks to hold the shaft on the other side. And remove the wheel and take it out of the way. Installation is reverse. Put the new wheel in. Then just tighten it until it's snug. To remove the duct assembly, we're gonna remove these three screws completely. And you should be able to give this duct assembly a pull and move it out of the way. Once you have the bulkhead flipped over, use your 14 millimeter socket, grab the other side with a pair of channel locks. Now you can put the new assembly in. To put the duct assembly back in, simply slide it back into place. To replace the tensioner assembly, you just have to remove this one bolt. It's a 10 millimeter. To replace the new tensioner pulley, put your spring in like this so that this hook is facing down. Hook the spring into this loop. And 
And then you gotta line up the hole and make sure your tensioner pulley is sitting below this micro switch. Once you're done, give the tensioner a pull. You should be deactivating this switch and the tensioner should spring, have some resistance as you pull it upward. Now we're gonna set the back panel back in place. Notice that there's a hook on each side. You should be able to set it in. And then replace the screws. Now we're gonna take the heating element, we're gonna set it back in place. You wanna get the top part in, and then just slowly set the element down. You'll see a tab here, you'll have to push a little bit, and then line up your holes and put your screws back. Take the drum and slide it back into place. It should rest on the rear wheels that you just changed. It helps to give the drum a little tumble to help it lock into place. To reset the belt, take the tensioner pulley and pull it towards the motor. Take the belt on the left side of the dryer and wrap it around the tensioner pulley and then push it slowly until you're able to pull it around to the motor. When it's done correctly, it should look just like this. Once you're done, give everything a little courtesy turn and make sure that the belt doesn't sling off in case you don't have it lined up correctly. It's also important to note that the ribbed side of the belt touches the drum. When you're replacing the front bulkhead, get the wheels underneath the drum and then gently pull up on the entire bulkhead until you're able to get these in their slots. Once you have everything in place, give the drum another courtesy turn to make sure everything is rolling very smoothly. Don't forget to plug in your moisture sensor. We're gonna put back the duct cover assembly. You have to tip it back a little bit to get it to slide all the way through. You may have to massage it a little bit in place, but don't worry, it'll snap in. A reminder, these take the fine thread screws. And then go ahead and put your lint filter back in. Take your door switch assembly plug, and don't forget to plug this clip back into this hole. It's the only one that fits. Take your front cover. It should hook into these slots. There's one on each side. The front cover, start by setting the two slots in, but you gotta hold the whole door at kind of an angle, otherwise it won't slide in very nice. Once you get the two hooks in, bring the door closer, plug in your door switch, and line it up with the front of the cab. With your knee, hold the door and get one screw in. With these screws, the shiny chrome go for the top, and these stainless steel looking ones go for inside the door. The front cover, put your information wiring harness through the hole and kind of line it up with your PCB board. This front cover, you kind of have to line it up until it sets into place. And then you want to make sure that you line up these little hooks so that they go through the slots in the metal. The harness, don't forget to hook it around and plug it back in. The screws for the front panel have a blunt tip. Lastly, you're gonna take the dryer lid, set it in until it's lined in, and then just bring it forward and replace your last two screws. You could buy this kit at my website, lorrainefurniture.com slash kits. This is the LG 27 inch dryer kit, and this is everything you need to make your dryer nice and quiet again.